Hello everyone, me, Mike Manita is back in for another video. Yeah guys, I know I've been not uploading quite a while, I've been taking a break for all this YouTube, and my break is going to get much longer, but I just want to get this video out of the way. So, it's the end of 2019, I just want to thank you guys so much for helping me out on this channel. Thank you all so much. I am really, really on, uh, surprised and glad for all the help you've been giving me, and more videos ideas, um, I really hope you bring out more videos ideas, like the ghost stories and stuff like that. And yeah, um, I re and I know I've been doing a lot of videos where I've changed up a little bit. Like I've been doing ship videos, and I've been doing train videos. I really, I just my channel is just gonna be like a majority like series, like a series that um that has like some bits and bits about that, uh, that and there in the series in my in my um in my channel. And yes, um, I will be doing a bit more FNAF videos. I don't know what kind of videos those will be. Probably plush videos I think but not until but until then I don't really know so um, I just want to give you guys a little update on what this channel is going to be and after my last video uh Sodor's Orient Express I I had gotten a comment asking me if I was going to do any more train videos <coughs> um the thing is um I will be doing more train more ghost train videos the thing is <coughs> I don't know about this whole COPA situation because it will go into effect tomorrow. And I'm really, really nervous and scared of what's going to happen. So I want you guys to give me all the support you can possibly give me. And, um, and I, I, I won't be uploading for like a month until I know what's going on about this whole COPA thing. If it's actually going to, if it takes effect, that I don't know what's going to happen. So I don't know if I don't know if I'm gonna continue uploading videos or not after this whole Copa thing, but I'm gonna wait until like February to see what's gonna happen, and until then I'll be doing a little more videos. And then um, I just want to give you guys a little um, update and a kind of suggest uh, su kind of suggestion ideas. Recently, I've been doing a lot of Thomas and Friends vi related videos, like ghost stories and stuff like that, and I want to give you guys this the scoop. Should I do my actual own Thomas and Friends actual series? I already got a name of the series, and I've actually been doing like scripts for stories of, of this series. I, I want to get you guys' opinion of this series. So here's a scoop of what this series could be. This series will be called Stories from the NWR, Northwestern Railway. So this series is going to take place in Sodor when there's a huge shortage in engines because many engines have been um, have been taken to overhaul or going to inspect inspection or been taken on the railways or like uh, not like from so not from Sodor itself like different parts of Sodor that kind of thing and then I'm gonna add like new places like the Sodor refinery where some engines I got a character called I got two characters called. Kaiser and Alicia, they're going to be part of that of that kind of um, system, the, the Soda Refinery. Then I got the Soda Freight Division, with characters like Murdoch, Neville, Hank, those characters are going to be part of the, that division. So what I'm doing here, guys, I'm going to divide the way the characters will be in the actual series. I will divide what places they will be and what episode they will appear in. Be, uh, uh, let, let's take Thomas for example, the big blue man himself. Okay, this specific character has been appeared in a lot of episodes. I know he's the main character and all, but to me, he's appeared in too much episodes. So, to take a, a little break from this, I'm going to do this. I'm going to take away Thomas and Percy from Titmus Sheds, and I'm going to add them solely to the Farquhar branch. Because, here's the thing, if Thomas has a branch line, why is he not working on it more than, than on the main line? And then I'm going to change it up his personality. Instead of being all cheeky and back to his kid self, I'm going to make him more older and more mature. Like, less fun, less cheeky, more serious. And then, um, and then those characters going to be added to that part, and then, I, I guess you're wondering about this whole thing I've heard about, um, Thomas, and, uh, about, um, the new, like, two new female engines on Sodor, and Rebecca, and the, uh, and taking away the, um, uh, the, um, uh, Edward and H uh, Henry. Well, here's the thing, guys. I will not have the Steam Team at all in my series. Now, not as them, known as the Steam Team. Because I do not like that idea. What I'm going to do is that I'm just going to add those two characters still to Timmy's Sheds. However, I'm going to keep Henry in Timmy's Sheds too. Edward is going to be put on the Wellsburg branch. And then I'm going to add a brand new character to join the the join the, the, the Timmy's Shed team. However, Timmy's Sheds will be used like as a, a base for several engines. But here's an engine that I want to do to get out of the way. 
This new character is going to be named Velt. He is a Canadian National Selkirk locomotive from America. He is a, now, um, Velt is based off another series, as an, of an animated series, which all the characters will appear in. And, however, he'll be used to, like, as a kind of a mix of Thomas and, and Edward. More like Edward, if you think, if you come of it. And so I'm gonna keep that, I'm gonna put that in the way, and so I'm gonna add also this. I'm gonna add brand new characters from the Railway series. The characters that were cancelled from the television series, like Nigel, one of the trucks from the Jack and the Pack series. They will appear in my series, no doubt, in some kind of way. And as their actual characters, not as, not, not as like recycled characters, real characters. And then I'm going to um, add new characters from other actual TV sh uh, uh, TV shows, like characters from SpongeBob, Winnie the Pooh. Those characters they will uh, actually appear as trains in my series. This isn't the first time I've seen a series where some guy uh, where tra train uh, train train fifty four. He's a very awesome YouTuber to watch. He does videos where he does um. Uh, videos about like um, uh, Phineas and Ferb characters as Thomas and Friends characters. My Little Pony, uh, not uh, And then there, there, there's another channel that does My Little Pony characters as Thomas and Friends characters. Those kind of characters. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add different TV show characters as Thomas and Friends characters. Like I really want to know what it would be like if a SpongeBob SquarePants character as a train would interact with a with a Thomas character. So yeah, guys. And actually, I just wanna I just wanna say this out get this out of the way. Thomas will likely appear as a character in the series, but sometimes he won't be either in the episode, he will be not either speaking the episode or not at all in the episode. Because if he will appear in an episode, like the Railway series of course, it would have to appear on his branch line. That's what I'm going to do. Thomas will be based solely on his branch line, along with Percy and Toby. So you won't see them on the main line, they won't be featured on the branch line. And and to, and I'll be a, uh, adding a brand new character too as well. This character is called uh, Simon. Simon is a character also from America, just like Vout. However, he was a completely different locomotive and looked a bit more like a Mikado. If you looked at a Mikado, you would know what it looked like. And however, um, many of his like uh, companions on his old railway did not like him on his railroad because this, this, this was in America. So many of his old rail, many of his old companions did not like him and consider him not as a good engine. However, a couple of engines, in certain, in, uh, including one fe a certain female engine, like trusted him. However, they started to think that he wasn't a very good engine, and very little engines actually cared about him. But after a serious accident that nearly killed Simon, he was taken away to a works to, uh, in Britain to be repaired. And then, that's when, 45,000, which is another locomotive that I'll add in my series, she's a streamlined locomotive, finds Simon in a, sh in a shed. And then, together, she takes him to Sodor, and Simon gets a complete rebuild. And is now a 4A2 mountain locomotive, and now works on Thomas's branch line. He has the whistle of the Polar Express, not joking. And he looks a lot from, if you look up 2017 Murder on the Orange Express locomotive, if you look up that train, his son looks exactly like the locomotive. However, the addition with a water tender, a few more modifications, and of course uh, the headlight that's supposed to be on his face on the, on the top of his boiler. He'll just look like, and he is the new engine for the Sodor, um, the Sodor Express, one of the new passenger trains on Sodor, and also takes place. And he works on the Farquhar branch along with Thomas and his friend, uh, Thomas and his branch line companions. However, the Farquhar branch line will be expanded, my version, into a mountainside. It will be called the Farquhar Mountain. Farquhar Mountain goes to the uh, co goes to a um, small town, you would say, named so uh, Sodoriania, and so, so uh, Simon's train is mostly up there. But he's also used for other jobs too on the main line too as well. You'll be like he'll be like the only character from the uh, Farquhar branch that we see mostly on the main uh, on main line and branch line. So and uh, but then when his old friends would come to Sodor when their railway closes, it's up to his own new friends to help him get the, get his pass out of his head and get his new get his old companions to trust in this new engine and trust me if you look up a Mikado and it look like the locomotive from the 2017 Polar Express uh, um, not Polar Express Murder on the Orange Express 
yeah, she, Simon will be pretty tall, and he'll be pretty long, he'll be a really fast and very powerful locomotive, and he'll get, and he'll be, um, he'll be more like a, um, uh, new, like, he'll be like, um, if you want to make a character from Edward and Henry, put them together, that's Simon, he's very wise, but he's kind of shy, kind of, but he's more mature now. I want to get you guys' opinion on this, and um, the series will be most like uh, the series will also feature engines from my tro uh, from my ghost story series, like engines that have appeared that didn't die, like, like they were only appeared, and then like um, like Yokohama and uh, I don't forgot what the other engine was. That was from the Illuminum Quarry. There will be part of that railway too, from the from the story of Mer uh, I forgot what this episode called. Marion, I'll think about it. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, Marion, I think that his name was, and so, and then Laia, the, the ghost train, then he'll appear, but then there'll be a new character, a character called Lisa. Le Lisa will be a new, and uh, will be a specific ghost train, and yes, she'll be very scary. And a few more updates about the Sodor Orange Express. I will be doing more videos about that pretty soon. With characters like those two French engines that appear in the trailer, they will appear. The Orange Express herself, she will appear as a character named Orient. The 2017 version, she will appear as a ghost train. And what they have to do is, they have to piece together why the train disappeared to solve the mystery. And why is the Orange Express on Sodor? And that'll be tied into my series as well. It'll get to feature a whole bunch of new characters, whole bunch of exciting new places, and a whole and a whole lot of fun. And I want to get you guys' opinion on this. Do you want this series to happen? And I really want to get you guys. This will be featured in Trackmaster, which I think was the cheapest way actually. So I want to give you guys. So I want to get you guys' opinion on this. Give me episode ideas. Like, give me an idea for an episode. Like, uh, but featuring a new character. You can make up your new character, and you can give me what class he is. Give me an idea for a character in my series. And, um, yeah, guys, I just want to thank you about guys, and with that out of the way, I just want to thank you guys so much for enjoying my channel, and I really hope this couple of things gets out of the way, and I really hope that I will be able to continue making videos. This won't make, this, is a, this will affect a whole lot of people, probably the whole of YouTube, actually. So, and my series, I don't know if it was going to happen, but give me, give me you guys' opinions. Give me story ideas. Give me character ideas. Please, give me ideas if you want, if you want to. So... I guess this is my final video for like a while because, well, of this whole thing of Copa and stuff. I'm really, ner I'm really nervous of what's gonna happen. So more videos about the Sodor Orange Express later on, but you won't probably see me for like a month. So I want to thank you guys so much for for helping.